week's video we talk about incidental findings on MR imaging. Incidental findings are very important because they can really make a difference in the patient diagnosis, prognosis and treatment, etc. And it's a radiologist's task to specifically look for them because the clinicians, although they are quite good at looking at the MR of the spine, for example, uh, for disc herniations, etc., they might easily miss a cancer or a tumor in the retroperitoneum or in the abdomen. So this is also a nice example here for an incidental finding. Uh, pain here in the c-spine we do this radiograph and what you should see basically is this op opacification of the left lung apex and then on the corresponding mr of the c-spine if you scroll through you just see this normal stuff you see nothing really going on here on this sequence but we have one with a little bit a larger field of view and suddenly you see this mass here in the uh, left mediastinum and then it's going away so you might be thinking how oh, it's maybe an artifact but it's actually a large pancos tumor and we can also luckily for us in this case see this here on these coronals with this large tumor here which can easily be missed if you don't have these coronals and don't specifically look at all portions of your image and let me show you the corresponding CT here in this case which is quite remarkable here, all this tumor. So in the joints, incidental findings um, are also frequently encountered and especially in the shoulder. And here we can see a shoulder MRI. You just look at all your typical stuff. Uh, you scroll through, nothing really jumps your eye. You scroll through here. And then on your last image, you can see this mass here, this tumor infiltrating the thoracic wall and the uh, ribs here and the lung parenchyma and we have here another axial section where you can see this big pancos tumor here on your uh, left uh, on your right lung here so always really make sure you look at your lungs on all of your shoulder mrs because you will frequently see this especially with older and older people getting mrs all the time the next thing you should always look anyways on your shoulders is your uh, axillary soft tissue whether you have lymphadenopathy there or not and here the corresponding ct with the big tumor here in the right lung so in this incidental finding it's frequently not reported and i have seen this many many times but luckily for the patients it's not really important but still um, it gives you a little headache because if you see reports that not mention this finding then you might think what else did they not see in this location so let's see what we have so we have this lumbar spine it's an elderly patient like 70 years old something like that and the incidental finding again lies in the retroperitoneum and you can scroll through and you should immediately see that we have a horseshoe kidney here so very nice example if you just look at this image and you focus here on your spinal canal then you might actually miss this finding here but it's actually a horseshoe kidney in this ca particular case it was mentioned in the report you can also see this here so a very subtle finding so this is a very nice um, case unfortunate for the patient but it's a nice case to show you the incidental finding so we have obviously a finding here in the sacrum it's a tumor a bone tumor most likely a metastasis in this uh, nearly 60 or 70 year old patient and if you see something like this always check your retroperitoneal structures and if you scroll through you will see here in this kidney on the left hand side that it has like two different components so we have a brighter one and a darker one and luckily for us we have this coronal here where on the very last image we can see a mass in the left kidney which turned out to be a renal cell carcinoma so always check for your kidneys here and here is a very nice example of a type b dissection here with these different compartments of the aorta as you can see here also visible here on these transverse sections where you have the dissection membrane here in this aorta and these different changes in the corresponding vessel. So always make sure you also have a look at the aorta. This next incidental finding is a vascular anomaly and basically you can see this sometimes on your C-spines or on your thoracic spines 
um, it's a aberrant right subclavian artery also known as a lusorian artery and you can see it right here let's make it big where we have a very large artery a large vessel running behind the esophagus from the aortic arch to the right side this is the patient that I have shown you at the beginning of this video and he has a very important incidental finding and something I have seen a few times already. So it's a 44 year old patient, so a young age still with just the normal degenerative stuff in the C-spine and if the sagittal images, if you look at them here, you don't see a lot of lung tissue. But sometimes we do these oblique sagittal images for the neural foramina and you can see them a little bit better and you have a little bit more lung exposure and here we can see in this young patient a mass in the apical lung segment on the right side. And this is basically a lung tumor or cancer and it turned out to be a non-small cell uh, lung cancer here already with two metastases here 